Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I will tell you about Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease is very, very important for your NEET PG, DNB, USMLE, PLAB, and MRCP examination. So let us learn about Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease is basically a curvature of the penis. You can see it is a curvature of the penis. This disease causes a kind of bending of the penis. Why this occurs? Basically, you can see in the picture, plaque are formed. There are plaque that is formed and these are basically acquired inelastic scars. So these are scars. These are scars and these are inelastic. It doesn't have any elasticity. These are formed at the tunica albuginea of penis. So which portion it affects? It affects the tunica albuginea. Okay, tunica albuginea. Now look at this picture. You can see if we cross section the penis, we have these uh, portions like we have the corpus cavernosum, we have urethra and you can see the fibrous plaque here. This fibrous plaque is actually the inelastic scar. These are actually the plaques. These are deposited in the tunica albuginea of the penis and it cause bending or turning, curving of the penis and it cause the Peyronie's disease. So in this way, Peyronie's disease is basically caused. You can see the right side corner how the penis is carved and this is the original picture and in the uh, below you can see how the curvature has turned because of the fibrous plaque the penis has been turned inward so that is Peyronie's uh, Peyronie's disease now this Peyronie's disease this curvature of the penis is very uh, difficult like it is very painful condition during the erection time during uh, any kind of sexual activity the male will have a lot of pain so it is associated with a lot of pain you can see the left side picture it is a normal penis and the right side picture the Peyronie's disease and in Peyronie's uh, disease you can compare the cross section the left side is the normal penis and the right side the cross section of the Peyronie's disease penis you can see there is, there is plaque formations and this plaque is formed in the tunica albuginea this is a question tunica albuginea always remember tunica albuginea has plaque in Peyronie's disease and this cause curvature in the penis and what does uh, what are the difficulties the patient feel the patient have pain in erection and all this process now let us learn about how this process of plaque formation occurs basically at first there is an injury to the tunica albuginea at first there is the injury in the tunica albuginea and this injury leads to increased fibrinogen and you know increased fibrinogen what is the function of fibrinogen that means increase in fibrous tissue formation fibrinogen what what is the uh, work of fibrinogen fibrous tissue formation gen means genesity it helps in formation of the fibrous tissue so increased fibrinogen will produce a lot of fibrous tissue local inflammation and this will cause a lot of local inflammation and this will results in myelofibroblast differentiation now myelofibroblast differentiation will result in deposition of a lot amount of collagen so at last what happens collagen is deposited and you know the collagen tissue what is the work of collagen tissue this will be deposited and clumped together to form plaque to form plaque so because of excessive collagen formation because of the excessive amount of collagen formation there will be a plaque formation so how this 
plaque is generally formed at the tunica albuginea this came from the injury to the tunica albuginea so always remember injury to the tunica albuginea le uh, lead to increased fibrinogen which will produce inflammation so there will be some differentiation like fibro uh, myofibroblast and all these things differentiation occurs at last there will be a lot of collagen that will be deposited and this will result in plaque formation now you can see how these uh, patients are basically managed generally we give some injections and these are intralational injection what is intralational injection we give some injection at the plaque so uh, we will inject the injectable material in the plaque itself so that is intralational injection of vera pamil so either we give vera pamil or we give interferon so either we can use vera pamil or we can use interferon injection either interferon or vera pamil injection always remember or we can go for surgery sometimes we use surgery when it is severe and the case cannot be managed by injection so we use surgery at that time and sometimes we use vacuum device also let us discuss what are the difficulties a patient feel basically the patient feels pain during the erection process the patient feel pain during the sex the patient feels difficulty in sex the patient feel distressed the patient becomes depressed so all these not only it is a kind of pain in the erection pain in the penis pain in the uh, process of sex but also it causes psychological symptoms in the patient the patient yeah, always have depression the patient have distress and uh, this also sometimes cause shortening of the penis why shortening of the penis occurs because the plaque formation has occurred and this cause the tissue of the penis to become carved bent and it turns the penis into a small penis so it causes shortening of the penis along with that you have dupai train contractures very very important in case of the peyronie's disease that is dupai train contracture so what is dupai train contracture you can see basically this is thickening and tightening of the tissues that are under the skin of hand so what happens the tissues that are there uh, under the skin of hand basically uh, below the below the little finger and the ring finger the fourth and the fifth finger basically uh, the the skin become thickened the tissue become thickened the tissue become tightened the the tissue become thickened and tightened and because of that there is a curvature that is developed there is a contracture that is developed you can see these little these two fingers one is the ring finger that is the fourth finger and the little finger that is the fifth finger it has become carved it has become contractured so this is known as dupai train contracture dupai train contracture is related with Peyronie's disease this is very very important you can see this is a original picture of dupai train contracture see the hand is normal but the little finger and the ring finger you can see the little finger and the ring finger these two fingers basically are affected because these two fingers uh, the, the skin the tissue under the hand under these two fingers small and the little finger the little finger and the ring finger are getting thickened and tightened and because of that there is a a contracture that has been developed and this is known as dupai train contracture this is known as dupai train contract contracture and this dupai train contracture is very much related with peyronie's disease so a patient who is suffering from curvature of the penis a patient who is suffering from painful pain in erection and uh, all these features of peyronie's disease 
he will also suffer from dupai train contracture so you can see this slide this slide is showing some men with peyronie's disease also have dupai train contracture so they will give you this picture and they may ask you what what is the name of this contracture so we have to uh, answer it is dupai train contracture or they may give you this dupai train contracture is associated with which disease so you can understand this is uh, related with Peyronie's disease or they may give you a clinical scenario where the patient may complain of bending in his hand on the little finger and on the ring finger along with that uh, there is bending in his penis which is uh, which he feels pain during erection pain during sex difficulty in sex and he is depressed so you can understand this is Peyronie's disease Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel because our channel contains 1000 plus free videos on medicine, on pathology, on various topics in medicine. So you will learn a lot about a disease, a lot of disease and you will have a great understanding of the medical subjects. If you are in medical school, if you are a medical technician, if you are a BSc nursing student, if you are a paramedical student, please like this channel. You will have a lot of benefit from this channel. Subscribe this channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.